is for life. Unboxed. My name is Nikolaus Dückmann. We at Advanced Services and Solutions GmbH would like to show you in this short video how we, as a qualified person, carry out maintenance on your quench valve. First of all, we check the installation distances at your site. This means that we check the distances between the filter and our quench valve in this case. We can only ensure a function if the installation distances specified by us are observed. In this case, the triggering of the quench valve by the explosion vent installed in the cue box is realized with signaling. I am simulating the triggering of the explosion vent here by separating the signaling. Once the quench valve is activated, I close the connection again. Close the junction box and then go to our controller, the XCOB Express. We can now see precisely here that the quench valve is closed and the activation with the explosion vent has taken place. We now reset the triggering. We have completed this in just a few steps. Arm the system. So that we can perform the first part of the maintenance on the active system. A pressure switch is installed in our quench valve which ensures that the quench valve automatically closes if a fault occurs in the compressed air supply on the customer's side and the pressure falls below our minimum requirement. I'll simulate that briefly now by interrupting the compressed air supply and slowly letting the compressed air out of the quench valve. We have now seen that the quench valve closed automatically once we went below the minimum compressed air level. Now we go back to the control system. We can see here that the quench valve is now in a fault state. This means that the system is no longer active. We now switch into revision mode and take the key to secure the system against accidentally being switched back on. In the next maintenance step, we disassemble the entire quench valve from the pipe in order to check the insides, the cuff for mechanical damage, abrasion or wear. If the cuff is in order, the quench valve is reinstalled. Everything is connected up again. We then check all of the mechanical, electrical and pneumatic lines for damage. Check whether the equipotential bonding is connected in order to prevent static charging of the quench valve. Last of all, we visually inspect the entire quench valve for mechanical damage soiling. If this working step has also been performed successfully, we take our maintenance sticker showing the next maintenance date and our emergency number. Once we have affixed this, the maintenance has been completed successfully and we only need to reactivate the control system and production can continue.